Alright guys, what is going on? It's Brennan, and here is the second car video. So, I, uh, I bought this stuff, it's called Plastic Dip, it's right here, okay? So what it is, it's basically uh, plastic that is in a spray paint can. Uh, if you want to find out more about this stuff, go to a Dip Your Car. Um, either dipyourcar.com or uh, their YouTube channels. Search up like you can just look up Plastic Dip and find Dip Your Car, their channel. Uh, that's where I found out about this. It's really cool. Um, so what I'm doing to my car is uh, I'm pretty much painting all or Plastic Dipping all the chrome and this plastic stuff that used to be black but it's now faded and gray. I'm gonna paint that all black. A uh, license plate thing, everything. Um, and then stuff on the back like the emblems and stuff like that. So let me go prep the car. Um, it rained a little bit last night so I have to dry it off. And then I bought their uh, Dippy Car. Here you can actually see it. Dippycar.com. This is their uh, pre-dip spray. So basically spray this on a towel um, and then you wipe it down so it cleans the surface. Um, and it's their recommended way of cleaning it and prepping the car. So, like I said, if you want to find out more on how to do this uh, in more detail, go to their YouTube channel and uh, you'll find a lot of information about it. So, let me go prep the car and then I'll, I will come back and I will start spraying it. So, be right back. Alright guys, so as you can see, I masked off the car a little bit. Um, I didn't mention the one great thing about Plasti Dip is that when you paint it you don't have to mask every little bit because plastic dip will just tear right off um, after it's applied but once it dries it's not as easy to get off that's the beauty of plastic dip so if I mess up I can just or well when I'm done which will be in a couple hours um, all this will be painted and same will same will this same I don't know this will also be painted but the thing about it is I can just tear off and since there's an edge it'll catch the edge and it'll just tear right along the edge so that's uh, why it's better than masking but what I did do is I used the box that all this came in put in front of the radiator because I don't want plastic getting in the radiator that would be bad um, so protect any important things and uh, yeah, let me just get on to the uh, application process. Alright guys, so I finished up the painting and plastic dipping, I should say, not really painting, the plastic dipping on this. I also did the back while I was at it. So this is four coats and uh, let me just show you how easy it is to take it off. So as you see, it, this part is something I don't want painted. I just wanted the grill and the emblem. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to do what they say to do online. You just have to find a corner. It's kind of hard. We'll try to get one over here, actually. Be a little bit easier. Bring it over to this side. Get a corner going. So you should just be able to rub it. Yep. And it is actually pretty easy. Just rub it right off. So this way, you can take it. And you can peel it. Right off. And the more coats that you get on, the easier it'll be to pull off. So as you can see, it's very easy. I'm surprised. <laughs> I truly am surprised at how easy it is to get off. So right here, since there are, um, there's not as much coverage with the Plasti Dip, it's going to be a lot harder to get off. So that's why they recommend you just paint the whole thing as much as you can. But um, yeah, this is this is amazing stuff. Um, they say on the can. I read the can. Give it uh, 30 minutes um, to dry before each each new uh, coat. So I let 30 minutes, ha a nice little half hour, for it to uh, all settle in, and I'm peeling it off after the the last half hour. So it's actually very easy. 
Um, like I said, I made the mistake, which you probably can't see anymore. Turn that that way. I made the mistake of uh, not putting enough right here. So it is a lot harder to get it because it's not as uniform. So it doesn't um, collect all together. So what I am going to do is just going to take a towel and you can just rub it right off. You see right there, you can just rub it right off. And um, it has to be, and try not to hit your finish because if you hit your finish, you're kind of screwed. Because um, then your finish is gone. Ooh, hit, hit the tripod. But um, like I said, you want to do it right after it said, um, right after a half hour. That way it comes off the easiest because um, it's fully dry or dry enough to get another coat but it's dry enough to uh, peel off easy. So let me just clean up the front end. I'll take some pictures. Uh, I'm gonna have some before and after shots of this so you guys can see. And um, I'll peel it all off and I will show you the finished product in just a minute. 